Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today's video is going to be a short and quick one because I wanted to talk once again about my Lueve small puzzle bag. This is in the color combination Sand and Mink. I believe they don't make this color combination anymore, but you can find something similar in, I think it's this color, um, the lighter color. So I got this a few years ago, and as you know, I really enjoy using this as my everyday bag. It's very easy grab and go. The leather is very durable. I have actually no color transfer on it, no scratches, and everything has held up wonderfully. The only thing that I complained about was this particular feature on the strap. Personally, I like to use this as a shoulder bag because I do have several crossbody bag options. And I like using this bag actually as a combination of a handheld or crook of your arm kind of bag like this slash shoulder bag. Now, the reason for that is because it's very um, easy just to grab the handle, especially where you, when you're running out of the house, you just grab it and you go. You're getting out of the car, you grab it by the handle and you go. I would then put the shoulder strap on. You can do that with the crossbody strap, but for me, since I'm not really tall, I'm only about five foot four, it is easier for me to have a less lengthy strap dangling when it's in the shoulder strap option. So that's just my personal preference. And because I like to use this bag like um, as a shoulder length bag, I have to use this shortened feature uh, where you adjust the, the strap length I use it at the shortest setting. Now you can see there are different lengths that you can adjust it to, but I put it at the shortest. So this loop here has stayed stationary because it's it's kind of sewn in together with this piece of leather. The problem I've always had was with this loop at the bottom where it always comes undone. So when I was using the bag, it always comes undone like this. And you see the, the strap dangling. And it, it got very annoying because I always try to tuck it back in only to find it later coming undone. I had tried a few hacks and the, the most recent one was where I put an elastic band through the shortest, um, the, the hole closest to the end. So I would thread it through, sort of um, kind of tie it around and and loop it onto both straps. Then I would slide the loop under it and just basically have it hold in place. Now, because the loop itself is quite loose, it sometimes it still slid down, but it, it worked for a little while. And then the elastic band came off. So I decided to try something else. I've gotten many comments in my previous videos of ideas to try and resolve this problem. So I tried the newest thing, which was a comment from a subscriber, basically using some kind of waterproof tape. Now I have this from Nexus. I, I got rid of the packaging and only kept the tape itself, but you can see under here it's, sorry, not Nexus, Next Care, and this is a waterproof tape. Typically you use this like if you have an injury and you wanted to keep your wound um, bandaged up and kind of protect it from water, you would use this. So I had this lying around and I figured I would try it. Now it is sticky, so I, I don't think it would really stay onto the leather. So what I did was I cut a thin strip like, like this, um, several of them. I actually had to do four layers because you can see this tape is very thin. You can see how thin it is. It is very stretchy um, and that's one of the features of it. It's, it says it's flexes and stretches. And so what I tried to do is just cut a thin layer. And then when I cut the, the thin slice, I would cut that in half as well. And I'm gonna try and show it right now. And what I did was I put a few layers underneath the, the loop on the top and on the bottom. So you see here, it's, it's kind of like sandwiching in between the strap. Now I put in, I believe it's about four layers. Let's see, one, two, three, four, actually it's five. So five on top and five on bottom because I was trying to make it so it would still keep the strap in place, but I could still move it. So you can see here, you can still move it 
it is a little bit harder to move it it you can still move it pretty smooth smoothly you can see it like this but hopefully it doesn't come undone so easily so if i'm carrying the bag usually like the because the loop is so big i wouldn't even have to do anything and it just slides to the bottom like this um, and at the shortest setting, it actually does align with the buckle here. So in theory, it shouldn't even come off. But because this piece is so loose, it always comes undone because it slides down. And by the time you know it, this little piece comes out. So right now, if I try to tug the inner piece, it does come up. But you see the whole loop comes up with it. So I'm going to try this out and see how that works out. If anything, I can easily remove the tape because it's really sticking to, um, like only two pieces of tape is sticking to the loop itself, which is the very first one that I taped on. So if I really need to, maybe I add another layer and see how that goes. I'm gonna try and use the, the bag like this to, and report back later on to see how this has helped. The only con is you kind of do see um, the tape if you're, kind of looking down at the bag. And that would really be just by myself, I suppose. Um, some people might notice it, but I figure if you're kind of um, seeing the bag like this angle or even from the side, it, it you wouldn't be able to tell unless you're looking specifically at the strap and then you see this kind of nude color tape here. And I figured that's something I can live with. If it resolves my problem, it's easy enough to remove the tape and replace it if I need to or you know try another hack so I will report back and see how this works out for me and if you have this problem as well maybe you can try using similar tape like this or if you have something a little thicker just make sure that it's good quality tape so if you need to remove it it doesn't affect the leather in your bag and make it very sticky I don't know for sure if that will be the case on my bag, but hopefully not. And if it is, it's just a small piece, so hopefully I can rub it off or or try to wipe it off somehow. So I will report back and let everyone know how this works out for me. If you have any questions about how I did this, um, anything about the bag itself, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to have a conversation with you there. Please have a happy and healthy rest of your day, and I'll speak to you all next time. Bye.